Hope everybody's having a good day today. I just wanted to make a quick video today replacing my driver's side mirror on my 2003 Corvette. Um, I've seen several videos of people trying to do this and uh, it really wasn't a great um, video. And I've got my dog barking in the background, so just excuse her. But um, none of the videos really had a lot of detail, so I wanted to try to do a better job it's showing kind of how everything's set up and how to take everything apart and also explain where I got the parts. So my car has the heated and dimmable auto dimming uh, feature. So um, this thing's like $350, I believe. And again, if you want any information on everything, I'm going to put some links in the description. You can go to my website and I'm going to talk about where to get everything and how much everything costs. But let's get into it and I'll show you what I've got to fix and uh, maybe you'll get a little bit more detail than what I was able to find online. Maybe it'll help you when you replace yours. So as you can see on my mirror here, I've got it turned so it's easy to get to on the side here, but I've delaminated from top to bottom halfway or a little over halfway. So uh, I can only see out of basically half of it and even it is really dim on the bottom, especially at night and even during the day, I can't see really well. So what you do is on, I'll show you on this one, uh, I guess it will sit this way so um, when it's actually on, your connector's on the right side. In the center of the mirror, you've got a ball joint and uh, it clamps on just straight on. And you've also, I think, got two, and I think they connect here and here because when it's flipped, it'll actually be here and here, I believe. There are two, I think, actuator arms they're called that connects. And you've also got um, a pin here and two pins here. Um, so you've got like, four or five different connections that have to be made. And so when you put it on, you'll actually have to press on the center. And this thing actually comes with some instructions. And those instructions tell you to actually take a two by three wood block and press in the center and give you the pressure to go onto the mirror assembly. Because if you're pressing with your finger, you may break and bust the um, the liquid in there so you want to kind of have an equal pressure and you also it's recommended to put a towel over it so that you don't break the mirror obviously um, but it does require a decent amount of pressure to actually press in um, and you got to get everything lined up but I'll get everything took apart and I'll show you how all that works and again I'll also post the instructions for this uh, the copy of that on my website just check the links in the description so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little plastic pry tool for molding and things and I'm gonna get in behind and I'm gonna try to push back on the pieces here and it's already came out before the other day so it's not all the way in there um, so it's gonna be a lot easier to take off but when you get in there you can kind of see the actuator arm and uh, you can also see the center uh, point as well and it's just kind of a ball joint and we're just gonna try to just pop it off like that and again, mine was a little bit easier because it's been off the other day and uh, I didn't put it completely back on. But you also want to pry from the other side a little bit as well. We'll go from the bottom. There, I think it nearly went there. There it went. Now that we have it off, you can see that you've got your actuator arm here and here. And then you've also got a center ball joint and two other smaller ball joints, and then two other clips. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points that it connects to. And so they uh, correspond with your actuators and different parts in here. Um, and that's why you use the piece of wood because it'll match up on the front side with how big it is on the back and you can press right down on it and uh, do a better job of connecting it. But I've also got um, a couple other things. I told you that mine's the heated and um, it's got the memory, the heat, and the auto dimming features. So I'm going to take these out, each of these, and then I'm going to unhook. There's a hook there or a contact for your electrical. I'm going to take that out. And I'll probably have to get a little screwdriver for that. And then you just pull that off once you've got that disconnected. And there you go. We've got our mirror. And I'll give you a closer shot of that. But this is my mirror, and you can see how everything has delaminated. So let's get closer look at the actual mirror assembly here, and we'll get that all cleaned up, and uh, I'll show you kind of how it connects. So here's the inside of the assembly. 
you've got two arms that go to these sections and they'll be connected to your mirror and you get the ball joint in the center and you've also when you get a little closer you see two other clips here here and then you've got another I guess that's an actuator these two down here this one in here so all that together you've got all these points that have to connect so um, as I said earlier if you use, like they recommend, a little board, you can press it on the outside and it covers your section. So that's what you're looking like on the inside. Here's the back of the mirror. So you've got your connector to your electrical, then your heating connectors. And then again, these little arms move. So I'll have to take that off of this assembly. They just kind of pry off of each of those. And then I'll match them up with the new one. So I get everything together, take these two pieces off, put them in those sections, and then uh, all I gotta do is reconnect everything. And it'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna start by taking these off. So I've got the so I've got the arms off the old one and put them on the new one. And I'll show you what I had to do on these. As you'll see right here, there's a little bitty lip under the bottom there. And what I did is I put a screwdriver on the left and right hand side under the lip, and I gently pried them upwards and popped them off. And the same for the other one here. And once I got them off and put them on the new one, I put my block of wood on them and just did gentle pressure or just even pressure and just popped them down. And they did pop down pretty pretty hard, So, but I didn't want to do too much to break the glass. So do be careful on that, but that's how those come off. And let's go put it on the car. So as I mentioned, the instructions recommended you take a two by four block of wood and press it in the center when you go to uh, affix it to the window um, and also use a towel. So I'm gonna wrap this a little bit over the glass and over the brick, or the, not the brick, but the wood and uh, press down like that so that I don't damage the glass and I'm gonna leave the bubble wrap on there as well just for extra protection. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reconnect all my cables here. And uh, from what I understand when I was talking online with some people when I bought this, that um, these do not, uh, the heater um, cables do not matter um, how they go when you take them off and put them on. They just, uh, it's a one, uh, depending on how the circuit is, but um, it's a one way I think or something like that, but I don't know anything about electricity. Um, and then just reconnect your power here. Make sure you get it oriented right. And it's on there. So now all I got to do is make sure the little, uh, I guess that's aluminum, but they're kind of springy, the um, little ends here. Make sure that they go inside the housing. And i am got a flashlight with me. I would recommend having one, but I'm going to sit here and just try to line up um, the little arms, actuators, arms, whatever they are, um, all the holes to the right spot. And get it centered and this is definitely not the easiest thing to do but uh, it's about all you can do is kind of guess at it and I'll sort of help line it up with my little tool here so I think I've got the two uh, lined up properly I'm gonna double check it looks good on my end So I'm going to take my wood block and I'm going to go to the center and I'm going to press. Okay. Okay, I had to kind of get in here from the back side and look like with my door or with my window open and kind of I could tell that the ball joint had not joined yet. Um, so you kind of got to kind of look at it from different angles um, through the sides and make sure they're on. But right now I'm not really pulling off any on either side. So I think I'm good. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is see if my window will actually, or my mirror will actually turn before I take this plastic off, just in case I need to press it down or take it off again. So let me do that, and we'll see what we're looking like here in just a second. 
So I've got the key just on, and I'm gonna select my mirror here, and I'm gonna check and see how it runs here. And actually, let's just see if the memory works. And it's working. Maybe it's working. I think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I did not break the glass. That's a good thing. $350. So there we go. Um, I'll move it a little more just to make sure here. Um, it is moving. And mine for some reason doesn't move all the way when I'm actually pressing it, but it is working. But there you go. So here's the comparison. You got the delaminated one and the brand new one uh, just from the factory, just exactly like this one. Um, I actually ordered them through GM, uh, through a secondary uh, website or third party, I guess. Um, but again, I'll link everything in the description, but I think I did a good job. Um, again, it doesn't seem like anything's coming off. Um, it's seated there well. So uh, I hope that I don't have any trouble out of it anymore. This uh, project was going to cost me about $600 to $650 if I would have went to Chevrolet and done it. That's what they quoted me one time. Uh, that's about two, just over two years ago. Had some other work done, had the engine resealed, and the extra $650 on top of a $2,000 job was just not going to happened back then but what happened the reason it was going to be six hundred and fifty dollars at GM is they didn't want to replace just the glass they claimed that the whole assembly needed to be replaced from the door panel up so uh, I was able to order this online and he found it the guy on, that I called from the website he ordered it straight from GM had it in here in a couple days again if you have any questions I'll link everything in the description I'll put a little blog post on my website I'll have a lot of pictures or well, a few of uh you know taking it apart just you know as i do it and the old part and the new parts and a better picture of the inside of this um and you can kind of go through that if you have any questions i'll have my email address listed and you can email me and maybe i'll be able to answer some questions um but anyway i uh, hope you like the video i'm also going to do another video on this car i've already replaced the uh window regulator on the passenger side and I thought, you know, I didn't find any good videos of that, like I said about this video. So I'm going to go ahead and make a after video on that and just kind of show exactly how uh, the parts go together. And uh, it'll be an easy video to do. Um, but it's just the details are not there, and I like a little more detail. But I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I'll let you go. Hope you enjoy the video. And uh, I'll see you some other time. Maybe you'll find some other videos you like. See ya.